Hello, and welcome to Lifeline. I'm your host, Apostle Brian Pruitt. Today, I want to talk about, I guess, a question, a question that we have all asked ourselves. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Many of us have been in situations and different circumstances where it didn't quite go well. You know, we uh, had some good days and and we had certain bad days where it seemed like the bad days uh, continue to um, go on and on and on. And in that moment, in that time, in that quiet space you know when no one else is around and you're sitting alone sitting alone sitting by yourself that question begins to surface what am i doing wrong what am i doing wrong and so many of us had that because of the intensity of the of the uh, what we would call warfare or the intensity you know, of the conflict or confrontation. That question ringing, what did I do wrong? But I want to tell you something today that might be quite shocking to you. But I believe it's a truth that is necessary and that will help you uh, even in the um, the moment, the place where you find yourself in now. When you go through something, when you are um, facing a trial, facing a uh, particular uh, matter that seems like it's just so overwhelming, it seems like that it just won't end. Instead of asking the question, what did I do wrong? You must embrace the truth of what you're doing right. Yeah. See, we never think about that. Sometimes thing, when, when things go bad, the first thing we think about is what, what did I do wrong? But really, the question is, what are you doing right? And I know you may, may have never heard of that before, and that's okay. But I want to help you today because it's not always uh, the case that you're doing something wrong, okay? But there are moments that because you're doing right, because you're doing the right thing, there is an unseen enemy that is in place who we call Satan that is fighting every single day fighting to get you to believe that you're doing something wrong but is the action of a terrified <laughs> terrified spirit because satan actually sees the headway you are making satan actually sees how you are destroying his kingdom by what you're doing. So what does a person who is panicking, who is about to lose everything, what do they do? They throw everything at you that they can. They start, <laughs> they start doing whatever comes to their mind to get you off course. And this is what Satan does. He throws everything at you, starting in your mind, to make you think you're doing something wrong. Why? Because he wants you to back off. He wants you to stop doing the right thing. He wants you to stop being the one to forgive. He wants you to stop being the one to apologize. He wants you to stop walking in humility. He wants you to stop giving of yourself and giving of your time and resources. He wants you to stop because you're doing more damage 
You're doing more damage to his kingdom than what you realize. So if he can get you to stop by just this simple question that uh, that comes in the form of a suggestion, <laughs> that comes to your mind, what, 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 what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? How is it a suggestion? Because he's trying to get you to buy into that question. He's trying to get you to buy into what is behind that question. Because if I can get you to believe that question, if I can get you to uh, continue to ask yourself that over and over and over and over again, you're going to start believing it. You're going to answer that question. What am I doing wrong? And if I keep asking myself that question, I'm going to say, you know what? If I'm doing something wrong, then I need to back up. You begin to believe a lie. So it's not what you're doing wrong. It's what you're doing right. And I need you to change your mentality on this because you have to know that the good that you do and that you fulfilling purpose, you fulfilling your God-given purpose is destroying his kingdom. You walking by faith is destroying his kingdom because see, you are the one that's going to change the narrative in your family. You are the one that's going to change the history. <laughs> Within the history books of your family, you are the one that comes on the scene and changes the whole game. Yes, this has been going on and on and on and on and on. But then when you were born, when you came on the scene, and you begin to realize who you were called to be. Now, that cycle, that vicious, toxic cycle, it comes to an end. So, he doesn't want that to happen. He wants that wicked, unhealthy plague, that wicked, unhealthy cycle to continue in your family lineage, in your family tree, throughout the generations, over and over again. So he's got to stop you every way he can. But because you get up every morning and you say, I know this happened. I know that this took place, but I'm going to do everything that I'm supposed to do to break this cycle because I have been called to be a cycle breaker. And so now I'm gonna stop asking this question to myself. I'm gonna stop rehearsing this question. What am I doing wrong? And and gonna, gonna come to the place now of saying, you know what? I must be doing something right. I got to be doing something right. Because I I that I I could not be going through all of this hell for nothing. There is something. There is something I must be doing right to get his attention. This is not easy, and I'm not saying that it is. Because sometimes, sometimes. One of the things that the enemy does, and he does not play fair, he will use the ones that are closest to you to get at you. But you must understand that even the ones that he uses that are closest to you, it's not them, it's him. You're dealing with an enemy that is scared. He's scared of you because of the person who you are 
in God. The Bible says this, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. What causes him to flee is not so much of who you are, but it has a big piece, it has a big part of who you belong to. That is the difference maker. That is the main piece. That is the main part. It's about who you belong to. So when I submit myself to God, I can resist him. This is why this is why I'm able to stand the way I am. This is why I'm able to move the way I move. Why? Because I belong to him. And so when he sees me, he don't just see me. He sees the one that I have submitted my life to. So if he can get me to believe that I'm doing something wrong, then not only I back up, but now I begin to question the one who called me, who made me, who I have submitted my life to. I'm telling you today, I'm telling you right now, it's not about what you have done. You have not done anything wrong. It's about what you're doing right. It's about what you're doing right. So I hope today that this clears some things up. I hope today that uh, your your mind is free. I hope today that uh, peace comes to your soul today. I hope today that you can see clearly now, oh, this is what's going on. It must be something I'm doing right. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you next time here on Lifeline.